Dang, no new Pokemon Sword and Shield Trail this morning. The games come out this week. Unless you go to the Japanese Pokemon YouTube channel because they are popping off like always with some new Pokemon Sword and Shield gameplay. Mmm, feel the hype. Did you already feel the hype? That made me feel the hype real quick. Like, th they just know how to bring it, and it makes me so happy. I I can't not smile when I look at these games. You're new. You're not allowed to be new like that. Glimwood Tangle looks amazing. Uh, we got the Pika Boy with that, like, Eevee girl. All kinds of craziness going on. This is just wonderful. Look at how good the wild area looks. Nice. All, all of this is just so great. Um, excuse me. Excuse me! It's a little too much new gameplay for me. The map looks great. They're just like showing us all the good stuff. I want these games. Then we go straight into that sick gym leader theme. That's just too much. That's just too much good stuff right there. This is, a, this is one crazy remix, huh? It's just so good! Oh my god. Oh my god! That is a masterpiece of editing. It's just so good. So, there's like a million things in that that are amazing, that are new and just so insane. Like even, even right at the end, we got story and then when they're doing all that other crazy stuff, we got like more story things going on. Like right there, that's almost, oh, wait a second. A lot of this stuff is actually like, it makes sense in a crazy way. Uh, let's, let's go and cut that playback speed and then we can turn off the music because it's going to sound weird. So from the 90 like minute reviews and stuff, shooting, or was it, was that from the leaks? I don't even remember anymore. It's all starting like, it's all starting to fall into, together. So there's like a shooting st star that explains the Dynamax phenomenon. There's that. Then we got some kind of story going on. Sword, shield, two dudes. Figure out what that means. That seems to turn into sea in a way. Um, and then uh, it goes all to all the things at the end. But but let's go back to like that gem leader transition because um, new gem leaders, they look so good. They look so cool. Like oh we haven't seen we haven't seen this before. And then I'm excited for all of that. Like this is so hype. This is so good. And then their introduction. That, uh, that's. I, do we see them all like super early? That's gonna be like really fun if you if we just go to that gym leader challenge starts. All the gym leaders just like appear. Like, all right, this is this is who you're gonna be facing. Get ready for all this fun stuff. So I'm excited, and they all look so good. I love all of the gym leaders, and I love the little Pokeball holster. They just they just represent. They sport so hard in. It's just amazing. So we got all that going on, and um, yeah. What about all those the, that those Pokemon? You know, new Pokemon and stuff too. Let's go. Let's go find them. That's that's hype. That has me excited. They they're just dropping new Pokemon like this unannounced, not even on the like Pokemon channel. You, you okay, buddy? We we're gonna have to. Do we have to worry about you now? It's like we're so. Is this the new Impidimp? The Galarian Cofagrigus? Is that is that the new Impidimp shenanigans going on? They're just they're just dropping him right there for us. He's real. Oh, and then like I could watch that that little clip just so much. Like Limwood Tangle. Look, look at that. It's like it's dark. There's little patches of grass. Get to hunt those down. Impidimp just kind of like shining under the uh, mushroom light. Can't say moonlight. Just like some kind of glow going on right there. Same thing for that cave. That's beautiful! These games are so beautiful! I just want to play them! 
It's like any like any part of the environment. Like the wild area has been incredibly breathtaking all along. We've seen very little about the routes. But we do see into the routes. I just wanna like get into all those little areas and find Pokemon. And then Mr. Mr. Mime's got a Galarian evolution going on. I'm not... What the... Is its face supposed to do that? Okay, it's always like that. I was like, I was like that... I didn't know they did that for the animation. But... Not a fan. I'm just gonna say that. I, I'm still dubious on a lot of the Generation 8 Pokemon designs, but... They're just, they're just like, hey, check him out. He's he's new and he's there. And I wonder if this means he's going to be an Ice-type, because we have all of these Ice-type Pokemon in our camp, don't we? We got the Bergmite, we got the Lapras, there's a little bit of Weavile going on over there, and Mr. Mr. Mime, Galarian Mr. Mime. Look at him. So, yeah, and then just showing off all that. The map looks good, too. Don't We don't really see too much about it. I, actually, hmm, this is... Interesting, just like how that's the wild area. Wild area has like a lot of different points inside of it. Route 2, we see like a little zero two 2 down there, so that's cool. And then like all the exploration going on over here, can't really do much about that. Going into the city, oh, we see barely, it's like a little bit of the city into the other routes. Route 3, whatever. Poke jobs. All that fun stuff, and then it's like, oh yeah, by the way, this game isn't just beautiful and about fun and adventuring gym leaders the challenge the battles that's what it's all about and then weird just chanting going on gym and the gym challenges this goes back to the original leaks where you have to like whoa do something so that's what it looks like that's really interesting so yeah, you you before you can battle a gym, you have to do some kind of gym challenge. You have to roll Wooloo into a goal. Milo, you're insane. Then we just have the battles. I wonder how much of that is from like the actual E3 demo, because I never like saw the full E3 demo gameplay. I didn't get to play it. But B, she looks like she's on it. Got some cool battles. Everything is just locked down. So wonderful. Yamper. The Gigantamax Charizard. Our event Pokemon. And then this. This this is a feat right here. This is the most underrated thing ever. That probably took more time to make than like half of the time it takes for me to make any videos. And then they just lose their minds right here. We've already seen like the Zacian and Zamazenta attacks, but that's still hype every time. Like, oh, so good. And then some shenanigans and mystery to keep up with. Spooky forest. Got it. Well, that's not it's like spooky forest, but that's still nice forest. And then as they do every time, their promotions. All these, wow, there, there's so many more things that's like, so, yeah, just a lot of time at the end of the trailer. Oh, uh, there's like one more thing. Yeah, that, the Rotom Balloon. So, if we figure out what Watts are good for, that probably makes some sense. Now, I wonder if it's going to be worth it. That's a big thing to me, is if something is worth it. But that, that seems really cool. You get to bike through the wild area, like, super fast. I wonder if it just kind of goes on definitely. Like, you just do, like, a full lap around the wild area. As long as you keep hitting the balloons and keep hitting checkpoints, you get all kinds of crazy rewards. And if it's if it's worth Like, if I spend a couple minutes there, it's like Mantine Surf. Because Mantine Surf, you know, you go out of your way for five minutes, and then you end up getting battle points, and you can get up to 50 battle points, which is more battle points you can get in any amount of battles in that amount of time. So I wonder if it just kind of keeps comboing around like that or something. Or maybe, like, if you see a Pokemon you want to catch on the side, you're like, alright, I got, like, my, my X amount of Watts. Boop, just encounter a Pokemon. I don't know. I wasn't expecting that. I haven't even heard anything about that. So, there's, like, a lot of gameplay and stuff to look forward to for Pokemon Sword and Shield, and then this hype trailer just kind of brings it together once again, so... Hope you guys enjoy the video. Tell me what you think. Every like everything, everything I see from Pokemon Sword and Shield, especially the Japanese Pokemon uh, channel, is I need to play these games. I need to feel this. 
I needed to feel that. So guys, enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.